Is the season to be unjolly? Ha 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 ha! Oh, the duty fairly folly, but a lot of the oh 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 oh. We don't want to knock Black Peter off right there, no sir. We can't do that. Along with Krampus, our Krampus, our Krampus of uh, stocking, and of course we have. Let's see what we got going here, Boris. Huh? What do you think? Some Krampus greeting cards, perhaps? Oh, let's see what we got. We can, well, we'll pick, let me pick these up. Oh, here we go. Anyway, oh, yes, we can send uh, some of these to our good fiends. Uh, uh, well, let's see, Dr. Paul Barra. Let's see, Gore Duvall. He would love this one. It's, it's, it's so interesting and, 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 and ghoulish. And let's see, Penny Dreadful and... Oh, let's see, uh, Danvers, he, he's going to love all these wonderful cards uh, for, 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 hopefully we weren't too late sending, sending them in, uh, you know, and of course Gary Marshall and, and lots of, lots and lots of old and new fiends that we met along the years and along the way. Yes, well, uh, I'll, I'll put these right over here, hey Boris? <laughs> so let's see, what, let's see, let's see, we have our ghoul balls on our yule tree the ghoul yule tree that is <laughs> and let's see we have our uh, winking angel so be careful you better not wink or, or blink and because if you do well she might be creeping up on you and uh, right in time for this wonderful ghoulish time of year <laughs> when ghosts and and spirits are abound and and not only that uh elves and well krampus of course speaking of krampus there's we got to see check 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 but something's missing, right, Boris? Yes, something is missing. What could it be? What? Oh, I know. I know what it is. It's the Krampus on the shelf. We haven't found. It's. Let's see. It's not there. It's not. Oh, wait a minute. I think, Boris. Tell you what. I think I know where he's at. You check the library and 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 see if he's there. Hmm? Okay. What do you mean, Boris? He, he was there, but then all of a sudden he just disappeared. Well, where did he go? Did you check uh, the monster room? No? Well, I tell you what, you go and check there and see if you can't get him this time, huh? We need to put him on the tree. We, we really do. I mean, you, you can't have a Yule tree, a ghoul Yule tree, without a Krampus on the shelf or on the tree. I mean, after all, uh, well, you know, elves are one thing, but small Krampus dolls, well, you know, you remember the elf on the shelf, hmm? Well, we, we, we put Krampus, not necessarily on a shelf, but sometimes in a tree, and, and sort of scares those pesky elves away. <laughs> yes, elves. Huh. Well, it's a, such an interesting story tonight. Uh, and you know, Yule is the perfect time of year.
for telling ghost stories. Oh yes, it started back in the uh, 1800s. Uh, around the times of Dickens and all that, uh, be, before they had Santa Claus come, coming down the chimney and Krampus coming through, they had people would gather around the tree and the log fires. Well, I don't think they had trees, but they did have log fires. And they talked about ghosts, of all things, on Christmas Eve, because they said that on Christmas Eve, much like Halloween, the veil was always the thinnest, so that was the best time to tell ghost stories and, and who knows, have some nightly visitors like, you know, in that Charles Dickens classic. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the film and, and Boris, I'm sure he'll capture that, that, well, he'll get a hold of that Krampus doll and we'll put him back on, on uh, you know, the tree and get ready in time for Krampus and, and Santa Claus and well you know just let's let's go back to the film. has to be right. Well, how is this any more right than it was a mile back? <laughs> I don't know, it just feels right. Whatever. We have to be close to Mother Earth. Get real, Kirsten. Get over it, Amy. We now convene the Sisters of Anti-Christmas. Sisters? <laughs> what is this, a script? We bemoan Christmas as a petty, over-commercialized media event. What's bemoan? Means I didn't get any good presents last year. <laughs> well, I can totally relate to that. Besides, it doesn't even look like it's going to snow. You guys, I thought you were going to help me figure out how to get Dave. Oh, come on. His is bent anyway. We are, Amy, but why just figure out Dave? We should figure out everything. We're girls, remember? We're the master race. Killer. We could control everything and everyone. So we just have to have a bond, like a secret that the rest of the world will never know. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean? What's this? It's our symbol, the Virgin of Anti-Christmas. <laughs> Virgin? <laughs> Ew. I dream those Art Deco boobs. Cool, huh? Mm. Oh, no. Isn't this your grandfather's book? Yeah, he also told me never to come out here. Oh, Royal Bust if he finds out. Hey, the candle! Ah! Are you okay? Wait, here. Let's get out of here. Well, what about the ceremony? We just have to be blood sisters. Oh.
was for being here without my permission. As the second was for the lie you were about to tell. I'm sorry. I... I worry. What were you doing with the book? Nothing. I was looking at it. Where? You weren't at home? You were in the forest? No, you told me never to go there. I also told you never to touch my books. You have hurt yourself? Let me see. How does this happen? Hmm. It's not too bad. The bleeding has stopped. Let's wash it. No thanks, Gramps. I'll do it. Are you hurt? Good. Where have you been? Nowhere. I was with Brooke and Amy. The unholy trio. Your grandfather said you went in his room without permission. Yeah, I guess I was. Well, you broke the rules. You're going to have to be punished. He's already slapped me twice. Well, that isn't going to stay with you. But this will. Your savings account is history. I'm going to the bank tomorrow to close it out. You can't do that. That is so totally outrageous. I earned that money. It's mine. Not anymore. Oh my God, Agamemnon, it's finally happened. I'm living a cliche. My cat is the only friend I have left. How stupid. Look, I don't mind that you turn out to be a girl. And I don't mind that you got pregnant. But just don't take off with the father, okay? Because, like, I need all the friends I can get right now.
like a ninja, only like a gremlin. Don't be ridiculous, you were dreaming. A bear, Ooh. there's your answer. It was the cat. It was a fucking little ninja troll. Agamemnon, come here. <gasps> Don't you hurt her. Mom! Mom! Mom? Save to go to art school. You earned it. Your stepmother is a royal bitch. My mother. Are you sure? <laughs> Isn't she like too young? She had me when she was 16. She's my mother, all right? Whatever. <laughs> She's still a royal bitch. <laughs> she just needs to get laid. Well, uh, who doesn't? I can't wait till tomorrow night. <laughs> are you afraid of getting in trouble? What are they gonna do? Fire me? I can't keep the money anyway. Just my tips. Hey guys, it's almost break. Let's go goof on Santa. I've been waiting for this all day. Cool. <laughs> You. It looks like Christmas is treating you okay. Got my 90 day chip. It was a real tough crime, but I did it. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. Look, you're always welcome around here. Why don't you get some coffee and donuts at the snack counter? On me. Come on, Hugh. I can buy my own coffee. And you know I don't need any donuts. I need a job. That's what I need. Well, I don't have anything for you. We contract out for our security now. Well, how nice. But I know you always need extra help around here at Christmas time. I'll do anything. Look, I'm straight. You can trust me. Give me a break, please. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I'm sorry. You know, you really are sorry, Hugh. You take that sentiment outside, mister. It's Christmas time. It will Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. And what do you want for Christmas this year, my young lad? I want a Nintendo. Nintendo? That's great. They're on sale today in the basement. Today only. Merry Christmas. Sarah. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And what do you want for Christmas, little girl? For it not to be Christmas. Why? Ah, oh, it's snow. Can you make it snow? Oral. What? Santa said oral. Greetings, I am the Count Gordival, the host of Creature Feature, the weekly web program at www.countgord.com. And as you know by now, I'm the first horror host on the internet. So I have a very great affinity for horror hosts who use the internet to deliver their craft or their bad movies or whatever they do. So I want to take this opportunity which I very rarely do because I, as a vampire, don't really celebrate Christmas because I don't think it's appropriate. Garbage. To do this. <clears throat> to 
my good friend and fellow horror host, Bobby Gamonster and Boris T. Buzzard. Let me, Count Gord Duval, wish you a dreary and dreadful Christmas and a scary, frightful New Year. <laughs> Don't get the bad stuff. <laughs> Anything like this has happened. you both, but I won't. It's Christmas. out there. Nothing like this has happened at Golems in 50 years. Sign of the times. Now that guy back there was using narcotics when it happened. Are you Kirsten Hiller? Yeah, but I don't know why you want to talk to me. The guy tries to fill you up. You slap him. Words are exchanged. He's found dead a few minutes later with his nuts cut off. What should I think? <laughs> it was a pervert and a drug addict and somebody killed him. Isn't that the spirit of Christmas? No, it's not. Agamemnon! Here, Aggie! You look terrible. You have a lot of rough day at work. Santa got murdered. I don't find that funny. Not in the least. Have you seen Agamemnon? I haven't seen the cat all day. Here, Aggie! Kitty, 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 kitty! Surgeon General says a pack a day will keep your lungs nice and dry. Well, I guess things could be worth it. Shit. Oh, my God. How can I get a victim done with something like this? Merry Christmas. I don't even have any goddamn clothes.
night in a row, I'm not going to get any sleep. Who's a troll? It was a wrecker. I know what I saw, Mom. Nietzsche. Nietzsche. This picture is not in any of my books. Where did you see it? What? Nowhere. You never saw this before? I made it up. What did you see in the window? A troll, a raccoon. I don't know, a ninja gremlin. You went to the forest. No, I right, didn't. Don't, don't look, it's all over now. I'll call an exterminator to lay out some traps in the morning. Kirsten, go to bed. We could all use some sleep. Say so here, the elf and Luta. Don't start that again. You and your damn elves. I'm sick of it. It killed the cat and dragged it to her window. If you want to know, I killed the cat. The raccoon may have dragged it to the window. But I killed it. Where's that spot that you usually have? You look like you're a little under the weather or something. I didn't sleep all night. Well, don't feel so bad. I didn't sleep all night either. Things haven't been going exactly right. Well, right back at you, sunshine. They haven't been going too good for me either, so don't feel bad. You know, my cat got killed last night. Well, I'm sorry about your cat. I really am. I'll forget it. No, I am. I mean it. I remember when I was a little kid, I had a dog named Pew Shooter, and I loved him so much. When he died, I cried like a baby, so I know how you feel. It'll be all right. Will get any snow this year? I sure hope so. Wouldn't be much like Christmas if it didn't snow. Everything looks so pretty when it's covered with snow, doesn't it? But Gavin... Hey, you. Morning. Hey, thanks for the call. You still want a job? What, are you joking? Sure I do. You bet. Come with me. Yeah, hang on just for a second. Things are looking up already. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Life's a bitch, Eddie. First you sin and then you die. In my case, they piss on you. I hope this doesn't start to represent a trend. Man, this looks familiar. No, Ace. I'm not a detective anymore. I'm not even a store detective anymore. This is none of my concern. I'm Santa. All I gotta do is just take care of my reindeer. Why? We have always known where you were. We have simply respected your desire for privacy. Then why come here now? You had us convinced they could not be resurrected. It's true! When there is no more room in hell, the elves will walk the earth. The elfin soul. You knew. Ah, 
I don't understand that. What are you doing? Are you going to shoot me? I'm not sure what to do. Rejoice! It is, uh, it is her, isn't it? Your granddaughter. The pure genetic line. I decided many years ago this must not happen. She must have nothing to do with this. You decided? You decided nothing. Too late to turn back now. She is the most important person on earth. From her will grow the new order. Besides, with you or without you, it is happening. What do you think? Give it up. Dave doesn't like red. We'll get you something better. Remember, 9.30, back door. Are you guys sure we're not going to get in trouble? Relax, we need experiences like this. It helps me to get over things. Besides, it helps me with my poetry, too. <laughs> life is long and life is hard, but Kevin's is thick and Dave's is a yard. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Whatever. Just let me finish up here. Dave's isn't really a yard, is it? Yeah, it is. No man. They walk among us. Are you ready for that? Excuse me, ma'am. I remember a book from college about mystical symbols and runes. Occult sciences, section six six six. Are you kidding me? That's gotta be a joke. Ready? Hey, we're happening. Forty ounces. Oh, uh -huh. 
You mean to tell me it was open the whole time? Morning goods. Meet us in lingerie. What's that? The tape. Oh, genius. How are the guys gonna get in? Oh, meet me in lingerie. God, bro, how lame. Check this out. What kind of slut dog suit is that? No way. Way. No way. Way. I said no way. Whatever. Oh my god. Killer. It's not too tuna, is it? No, it's totally hot. What is that? for us masters without slaves huh don't you get it masters without slaves oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't get it do you no <laughs> This is just perfect. It's getting really late. When are they going to get here? I don't know, but I'm getting hungry. Let's get a pizza. Yeah, let's get a pizza. Where's the phone? Are you kidding? We're not even supposed to be here. Just get a donut from the snack bar. Oh, yeah, the donuts. I remember. What are you doing here? We didn't touch anything. We didn't steal anything. Just don't tell my parents, okay? It's okay. Just calm down. I can't calm down, okay? Oh, God, just don't arrest us, okay? He can't arrest us. He's Santa. 
What are you doing here? I'm taking care of things. No, you're not. You didn't even have a job this morning. You're the one who put the tape on the back door. See, you're not supposed to be here either. Cool. Mexican standoff. Well, we won't tell if you won't. I'll make a deal with you. You don't steal anything. You don't break anything. And you clean up after yourselves. And don't bug me, all right? Deal. No, she don't get any Christmas presents. We don't believe in you anyway, Santa. What happened to the beautiful youth of today? Don't you believe in anything? Where is Kirsten? She should be at home by now. I think she's spending the night at a friend's house. Whose house? Brooke or Amy, I don't know. I understand. She's at a friend's house. No, she is not. What a wonderful film, eh, so far? Elbs. Was that uh, uh, Dan Haggerty, I think it is? Yes, from uh, Grizzly Adams days. Well, you know, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a jolly one for this uh, time of year, isn't he? <laughs> well, anyway, those elves, though, wow. You know, speaking of this time of year, and of course, tonight's, you know, the night for, well, holiday cheer or uncheer, and for presents at least and some of the wonderful presents that we uh, I've gotten over the years and also that you might want to be thinking about giving to your little monster uh, that's growing up and becoming the next generation if you can find them it's like well like this one right here that uh, Santa and Krampus gave me some years ago it's called the shrunken head game with uh, well, Vincent Price on the on the cover of it, of course. Let me get that a little closer to you there, okay? How's that for making your own shrunken heads right from apples, of all things? <laughs> and, of course, the box itself is wonderful just to have Vincent's f uh, picture on it. And, of course, let's see. Here we are. Another one. Oh, yes, this was a fun game. So spooky. You, know, you cut out all the lights and it glows in the dark. It's called Green Ghost. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's got the uh, green ghost and it's got a board. And it's a wonderful game to play in the dark. You've got bat wings and you got snake pits. And there's haunted trees and houses and old pirate ships and and it, it, it's just so wonderfully creepy to play <laughs> your monster kid would enjoy this so you might want to be putting it on your list you know for uh, good old Krampus and and uh, well Santa Claus <laughs> just a few ideas that we like to pass along from here, from Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum, to you, my little creepy fiends. <laughs> so, well, so having that being said, let's get back to the feature. Elbs. Hello, Bobby. Danvers here, and I wanted to wish you a happy Yule and happy holidays and all the best uh, for the coming year. I hope you and everyone over at uh, Monster Movie Night has a fantastic holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, lucky tonight, huh? Not you guys. You? You? Look, I don't want Kirsten. She's a bitch. Oh. You fag, you're just afraid of her. Yeah. She's yeah. weird. I want Brooke. Brooke is mine. Shit. That tube is... They were supposed to leave it open. Hey, chill. No doubt. Hormones. Let's pry it. Look, I got a tire iron in the car. Hey. Use the right tool for the right job. My tools already killed. <laughs> oh, man. Killer! One for each of us. 
Hey, Dave will like red if I'm in it. Hey, who gets the half tent? So half dog? Huh? Kirsten. You're not really gonna... You're not really gonna do it, are you? Those guys, forget it. I'm saving it for someone special. But how do you stop them? Just say no. It scares the hell out of them. They don't know how to deal with it. I'd rather just go through with it than get in a confrontation. It's easier. Ew, just ruin the mood, why don't they? Gross. His angel shall rise to impede us. Jesus Christ, are these the guys you've been waiting for? What? Look, you see those stairs over there? Can you make it those stairs? Jesus Christ, what is that? I don't know, a troll. I think it means you're helping me.
music, man. Maybe the alarm bell to duck the dogs. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Eliminate him. No, it is too dangerous now. We could harm her. Crushing it. Where the hell are they going? I don't care. Let's get out of here. Store dusted for latent prints. You know, Mike, you just never learn. You're one of the best detectives on the force, and you drank your way out of that job. You know the problem with you? You take that home with you, then you drank your way out of a two bit security gate. Now, this. Look, man, I'm telling you what I saw, goddammit. I'm telling you I saw a two-foot elf. Yeah, packing AK-47s, riding pink elephants. Come on, man, I want the facts. Don't give me that Joe Friday shit, man. I'm telling you this girl's life is in danger, goddammit. You want me to put my ass on the line? Oh, that would be a switch. You're implicated in this whole thing, you know. Well, that's why I need a little time. All right, you've got 24 hours, pal. That enough time? I really don't know if that's enough time. It better be enough time. You are liable for every penny in damage. Just what do you think you were doing here? We're just camping out. No, that's a lie. You were planning to rob me. What are you doing wearing the merchandise? Hey, why don't you lay off of her, buddy? She's been through enough. Oh, don't tell me she's been through a lot. What about me? What about the store? This is the busiest time of year. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, for Christ's sake. Do you think anybody's gonna shop here with bloodstains on the floor? We saw my friend's blood all over your fucking store. You want me to stay here and clean it up, asshole? Now, you want to hit somebody, you hit me. I knew she was here and I let him stay. You understand that? You didn't belong here either, McGavin. Well, if it hadn't been for him, I might be dead, too. Well, in any event, you're both fired. I want you as far away from here as possible. Nobody is done. Oh.
what's happening? I don't know, but I'm damn well going to find out. I'm going to drive you home. They got to talk to you folks. They won't care. Well, I do. Thanks, sir. Just call me Mike, okay? If you don't mind, I just need to find you soon. I feel like I should cry. I can't. Well, it's not over yet. You were taking drugs, weren't you? You were all taking drugs. It's true, Mom. Brooke and Amy are dead. What your daughter's telling you is the truth. You know, I don't. I don't think you understand this, and there's more to this. It was a troll, not a raccoon, a troll. That's it. I don't know who you are, Mister, but you better get out of here. I'm calling the police. The idea of my daughter spending the night with a man twice her age. Don't you ever listen to anything? I don't think you understand, ma'am. Your daughter's in great danger. These men are trying to kill your daughter. And besides that, there's that creature. Give me the police. You better just leave. I'm sorry I brought you back. I didn't understand. I'm not going to give up. 911, thank you. Hey, hey! Why? Describe the creatures that you saw. Would you believe me? All right. It was about two feet tall, and it was a troll, just like Kirsten said. Are you positive? Hey, look, why don't you tell me something? You tell me here what's going on. You seem to know everything that's going on around here. You do not understand the nature of the forces here. They could destroy you. What forces? Who's going to destroy me? I will protect my granddaughter. You cannot help. Do not interfere. The priests are on their way. You better leave. You stupid old man. You and your stupid myths. Patrick, Taff University. Adrian, go back to things. I am getting you out of here. You know what's happening, don't you? There are many things about my past I have not told you, and about your destiny. It's a destiny I am afraid that I have created for you. I'm scared. There's no time to be afraid. There are many things that I have done that I must teach you to undo. Don't back. I have things to prepare. Sorry about that, too. Listen, can you tell me where I can find Dr. Jean Patrick's Patrick? It's in the library if you think you can find it. Could you show me where it's at? It's over there. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Have a Merry Christmas. Dr. Fitzpatrick? Hey, yes. 
I'm Michael McGowan. Yeah. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, please, take all the time you like. It's Christmas Eve. I only have my in-laws to look forward to if I go home. Oh, what do you mean? What can you tell me about this? Oh. Now that's an obscure one. Yes. It's not Coptic. And it's not Phoenician. It's uh, not a room, actually. Although it does look like one. Let's see. Uh, how much do you know about your Bible, Mr. McGavin? I had one once. Genesis! Chapter 6. Oh, do come along. Thank you. Noah and the Ark. God is not pleased. It seems that the angels have been slipping down to the earth and begatting with the women. Plus, that thing with Eve and the apple is still sticking in his craw. God is fed up with the entire place and decides to do away with it. But, at the last minute, he relents and thinks, Now, Noah, now there's a very fine fellow. Uh, yes, he's worth saving. I'll save him and his entire family. And since God has nothing against the animals, he commands Noah to take them into the ark with him. So what? So this. Now, among the creatures specified by God to be saved, it is said, the little creeping things. Now... Are they insects? Maybe. A lizard, right? Wrong. No. Doc, do me a favor. What is the bottom line? Well, I'm telling you. The bottom line is the little creepy things are the little creatures that creep on two legs. Idiomatically, we call them elves. Elves? Yes. That symbol you showed me. It's attributed to the elves. Doc, wait a second. Hmm? Elves. Ugly little creatures that stand about two feet tall. Oh, however they're supposed to look. Do you think that there could be an elf cult or a sect alive today that would be crazy enough to kill people? Oh, no. But about 50 years ago, there was a group that believed in elves. They did one hell of a lot of killing. The Nazis. The Nazis? Mm-hmm. They believed in elves? Oh, yes. They believed in a lot of things. You know, if you could ignore their brutality, you'd have to say they were just a bunch of crackpots. Well, what in the hell were these Nazis going to do with these elves? I don't know. Oh, actually, Professor O'Connor... He is more up-to-date on the Nazis than I am, yes. Where could I find him now? Let's see, it's Christmas Eve. He should be home. Hmm, thank you. Well, I think that I've seen an elf. Do you think that I'm a crackpot? Oh. Are you asking if I believe in elves? No, I don't. But God did. You've been a hell of a lot of help, Doc. And you're one piece of work. Merry Christmas. Oh, yes. Merry Christmas. What a wonderful night for a sleigh ride, Deadly. Ooh, did you hear that? The werewolves are calling to each other. Must be a full moon. It's the holidays, Deadly, and all the creepy creatures are getting ready. The vampires are at the blood bank. The zombies are cooking brains. And the aliens are playing Santa. And the snow is covering all the pollution. So from Beware Theater, Deadly and I want to wish you a creepy and wonderful holiday season.
I just talked to the police. It seems you were telling me the truth about your friends. Mom, I've been so scared. I didn't know what was going on. I wish Dad were here. He'd know what to do. You remind me of your father. You're a lot like him. I am? You're attractive. You're bright. You're independent. Impulsive. Self-centered. Narcissistic. And I know exactly what's been going on. Oh, you and your friends, you were where you weren't supposed to be. Oh, sure, it might not have been your fault, Kirsten. But it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Don't look away from me when I'm talking to you. Why are you packing? Where do you think you're going? Grandfather said I was in Grandfather! Trouble. Shut up about your grandfather. He's a total incompetent. Why do you hate everyone? Why do you hate me so much? I wish you were dead and Dad was still alive. Dad! Dad? You want to talk to Dad? Go down to the study and talk to him. When are you saying Dad's dead? is in the study. Grandfather is in the study. Your father is dead. The man in the study is your grandfather. And your father! I need to talk to Dr. O'Connor. Is he home? Senor O'Connor is back. Is that roast beast? No, sweetie. It's roast turkey. Senor, senor. What? Yeah. Rosa, what? Yeah. What's going on, Rosa? Senor. I am sorry to bother you, Doc. I need to get some vital information from you. It's important. How dare you burst in on me like this? It's Christmas Eve. I'm having dinner with my family. If you want to talk to me, call my office on Thursday. Hey, look, I know it's Christmas Eve, and I apologize about that. I got your number from Dr. Fitzpatrick. I need you to help me out. This is a matter of life and death, and it's not going to wait till Thursday. You understand that? You know I'm a member of Neighborhood Watch. Come on, man. Take it easy. This is only going to take a minute. All right. What's it about? I want you to tell me what you know about the elves. Elves? My God, this is a matter of life and death. Rosa, telephone la policia. Okay. Yame al policio, hey, Rosa. No way, ve. Uno, uno. By the time you get through to her, I'll be out of here, all right? Tell me what you know. All right. You have one minute. I want to know the connection between the elves and the Nazis. There are two schools of thought. What are they? One, the Nazis experimented with elves as assassination teams. Small, easily hidden, silent, vicious. They have magical powers. They can't be hurt or killed. They eat anything. They're a perfect soldier. The problem is, there's no such thing. What else is there? Tell me some more. Theory two. The elves were a genetic engineering experiment. Now, I like this one better. It mixes science and the occult. The Nazis did have some clever scientists. This was before today's technology, of course. Each elf was to house the haploid gene structure in its sperm cells to produce the master race. Once again, magical powers can't be hurt or killed. Driven to select the genetically perfect human mate, the proverbial virgin, of course. Holy midnight consummation on Christmas Eve. Wait a minute. Tonight, you mean... The elf mates with the virgin on Christmas Eve to produce the master race. And it will eventually rule the world. But, once again, the problem is, there is no such thing. No elves. Honey, would you tell these kids not to be throwing things at each other? Now, your time is up. Daddy, what's elves? Elves. 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 proud of what I did, Kirsten. What I did, I thought, was necessary. I thought it was important. Later, I was so ashamed. 
So that is why you were never told. And now you need to know you are in danger. was not traumatic for her at all. I, I would do nothing to hurt my own daughter. She was drugged and unconscious. I, I took no pleasure in it. it. It had to be. Why? To produce you. The inbreeding was planned. It was controlled, so you would be the perfect female line, a repository, a receptacle for the pure genetic information that we thought must survive, must conquer. You're insane. But Kirsten, I love you. You're beautiful and you're perfect and I love you. No. Damn Nazi or something? Is that elf yours? How many teeth you got, huh? <laughs> now how many you got? play with my things. Could that be Santa? Oh, <laughs> 
Season's greetings. Cold and flu season. Hundred ninety four. We said on of a fever. Hello, sweetie. Hello, Bobby. It's Vincent Grimley. Wishing you and yours the very best that the season has to offer. And Horace, please, it's Bobby's show. Just for once, let him get a word in edgewise. Thank you. I must show her how to destroy it. She can destroy it later. Right now, there's a couple of humans trying to kill her. No, so I want to protect her, so I will not hurt her. We have until midnight. They are making preparations. We must make preparations for ourselves. Please. Let's get out of here. He's crazy. Take it easy. I heard a ton of crazy things today. Nothing crazier than that elf, and we both saw it. If the old man's got something to say, then we better listen to him. What? But you may have heard today this nothing, nothing, lies and rumors that we spent 50 years ago. Only what we found the people to hear. We? You were a goddamn Nazi. That's what you were. You were one of them. Tell me something. What in the hell is this? Your new party insignia? No. That is our original party insignia. What's wrong? Are we going to be all right? No, Willie. Gramps is a Nazi. What I was, what I am now, is unimportant. I will pay the price for what I have done. Well, what in the hell have you done? I impregnated my own daughter to produce an offspring that would be suitable to the elf. Jesus Christ, suitable. You mean... 
suitable to mate with me. My God, I can't believe what I'm hearing. These goddamn stories are true. You created your own perfect genetic line. And used your daughter to give birth to a race of army elves? The Fourth Reich? You demented, perverted son of a bitch, you make me sick. Yes, there will be an army of elves. But the offspring of an elf and a human is neither elf nor is it human. Then what in the hell is it? If you are alive tomorrow, read the last book of the Bible, Revelations. It's a very frightening story that commences tonight at midnight if we do not stop. Are you convinced that he's crazy? She is the daughter of Elysium, chosen to give birth to the son of Elysium. He is the Antichrist. Why don't you get your goddamn hands off of her? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I will show you! I will show you! Give me the sketchbook! Give me the symbol! The symbol! You better show me something. You see this? You know what this is! The sketchbook. See that? Come on! This is incredible! Where did you get this? Dreamed it. You dreamed it? It comes from your dream. Your dream comes from your deepest being. It is inside you. You know how to do it. Do what? Kill the elf. I will show you. Crystal. So what about the crystal? It is an elf stone. You're God, I'm not too fast. Just shut up, you understand? El Gila! El Gila! Ah. For the record, we have, from left to right, Herr Dr. Gila, his grandson, Billy, and our bright spark of divinity, Kirst. Fuck! Now we must have a record. Tell her what she needs to know. Kirsten, get your brother, get out of here. You have no way to run. You have a destiny you cannot avoid. Stop! Let him go! Amid, kill me. Now that hell is full, I wonder where you will go. No! Run! Run, Kirsten! Go! I 
think we've already been here. We should go that way. No. Oh, my God. Can you feel it? The magic of this place. I had heard of it. Oh, no, no, no. Forgive me. I have no desire to hurt you. Leave me alone. I love you. I love you more than anything. You are everything. Calm down. Calm down.
too slow. What are you gonna do? Grandfather said I would know what to do. He said it was inside of me. Ha, 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 ha.
Well, what do we have here? Well, we got a package. Bills, bills, ah, whatever. <laughs> oh, well, hello there. <laughs> Dr. Paul Bear here. And I just went out to the old mailbox and uh, had a parcel. And there's no name on it, so I guess I better go ahead and open it up now. Should I shake it, make sure everything's okay? Nah, if it's been through the parcel service, it's partially here. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. Well, hey, there's a gift inside here. To Dr. Paul from Bobby the Monster and Boris. <laughs> I must open this right now. Wow! It's Bobby's new book. You know, I saw him promoting this on CNN last week. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and read it right now. <laughs> Wow, horror hosting for dummies. I see here, it says, learn to get rich quick. Take a proper swing at the paparazzi. <laughs> Say no to celebrity guest requests. Crush the competition using a pencil, an onion, and car wax. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Chapter one, getting rich as a horror host. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Chapter 2, How to Hijack Another Horror Host Show. Well, I think I'm safe. I don't see a well-hung chicken in here. <laughs> Chapter 3, Learn How to Get Distribution by Holding the Network President's Daughter Hostage. Will you be quiet back there? <laughs> no. Chapter 4. Using threats and violence to garner better ratings. Mm. And Chapter 5. How to remove a restraining order against you. Uh, how about we <laughs> start with this one. <laughs> oh, wow. This is going to be fantastic reading here. I'd like to shout out a very Merry Christmas to Bobby the Monster and his scary Canary Boris. <laughs> and always remember, I'll be lurking for you. <laughs> wow. He's not lying. Maybe I can get rich quick. <laughs> Well, Boris tried his best. That Krampus was a slippery one, all right. I just don't know what we'll do, what we'll do if we don't get the doll on and Santa Claus isn't here yet and Krampus isn't here yet. Whoa, hey! Look, everyone, it's the real Krampus. <laughs> what? And look at that. He's come to the rescue, aren't you, Krampus? Well, tell you, look at, he, 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 he brought us the doll, the Krampus doll for our tree. Well, thank you, thank you. Yes, you, you're going to put it where? Okay, let me back up, here? Okay, well, thank you. And, oh yeah, okay, I'll reach here and get it. Thank you for leaving it. And there it is, everyone, Krampus. He's got the little kids in the back of his little pouch in the uh, basket, and he's got sticks in his other hand, his goat little hooves. Isn't he beautiful? And he's going to go, hopefully, right there, right there on our school yule tree. Ah, uh, well, Krampus bless every one of us. And now we're ready for the, the, uh, the, the season and for the night when Santa Claus and Krampus, well, Krampus has kind of made an early visit, but I'm sure Santa Claus is on his way with the goodies and Krampus with his wonderful unpresence that, uh, well, uh, undead presence that we get here at the uh, manor. <laughs> so great, so fine. Thank you, thank everyone that's uh, sent in their Christmas Yule, scary Yule cards to us, and 
thank you for the, the whole entire year that we've had. I just want to say thank you all and until next year, as always, <laughs> keep screaming and have a unmerry ghoul yule. <laughs>